What up, YouTube? E4 Diddy here once again, back with another video for you guys. And today's topic will be on Vegeta and Goku is, and if Goku is really stronger than Vegeta. Because I was watching Dragon Ball Super Episode 8. I want to say I was watching it last night. And pretty much in this episode, you see um, Beera slap Bulma and Bulma, I mean, Vegeta powers up. And actually starts giving Beerus that work. He actually forced Beerus to use one tenth of his true power, which Goku couldn't do. So that pretty much prompted me just to think like, is Goku actually stronger than Vegeta? And why Vegeta? And, I'm, and that always made me think like, I never understood why Vegeta had that chip on his shoulder that Goku was stronger than him. Because I never thought that. You know, I never thought that. Only because they it's a difference between how they train. You know, let's go back to when they were kids. Goku as a kid was nowhere near as powerful as Vegeta as a kid. Goku was denting a car with the Kamehameha wave as a kid. Goku was struggling with people like Tien, struggling with people like Yamcha as a kid, struggling with um, Piccolo as a kid, while Vegeta was taking out multiple Cybermen and helping destroy planets. You know, you know what I'm saying? Think how strong a think how strong a Cyberman is. You know, if he's giving Krillin and um, Yamcha and all the Z Warriors a difficult time in Dragon Ball Z. And Vegeta taking out multiple as a kid. So, it's needless to say, as a child, Vegeta outclassed Goku and all the Z-Warriors in every way. If you compare their ages, you know. So, why, why Vegeta complained about that? He was stronger. And then, fast forward to Dragon Ball Z. Goku was on... Goku couldn't even beat Raditz. And that was Vegeta's subordinate. <laughs> so really think about it. Vegeta was still stronger than Goku. And then when Vegeta got to Earth, think about that as well. Did they did Goku really be um Vegeta on his own or did he have help? He did use the spirit bomb. Um Gohan and Krillin did interfere. Gohan did turn into his eight form. So it was a lot to contribute to beat Vegeta. So I really always wondered why did Vegeta feel that Goku was better. And he considered that a defeat. Because had they fought head to head on their own, Vegeta would have won. Oh, hands fucking down, Vegeta would have won. So Vegeta was powerful from a child all the way till in Z, he was stronger. Even when he got to Namek, he was stronger. But this one, when they got to Namek, that's when they started going neck and neck. Because, um... That's when Goku also started to get more help. Because you also got to think about it. Vegeta always, Vegeta never liked help. Vegeta always liked to train on his own, right? While Goku always had all these external sources of help. Like, he did have the King Kai's. He did learn the Spirit Bombs. He did get to train after he was dead in the afterlife. Vegeta didn't get to have any of these luxuries. When Vegeta died, he lost his body. He didn't get the train in the afterworld. So you gotta think, Goku had so many more advantages just to keep up with Vegeta. Because if Vegeta had these same advantages, got the train in the afterlife, got to have all them external sources of help, he would be just as powerful. And we've seen this. Now we fast forwarding, now we fast forwarding to the Boo arc. We've seen this. The first time Vegeta ever allowed himself to get help was from Bobbity, and that pushed him to a higher grade of Super Saiyan 2, on par with Goku. I don't consider that cheating, it's just an external source of what Goku always did, right? So, that's my that's my whole thing. I always compared Goku and Vegeta to two people who were starting businesses. One person had their own business saying, I accept donations. I want to make my own money, but I accept all you guys' donations as well. The other business owner says, I don't want to take y'all money. I want to do it all on my own. So, of course, the one who takes the donations is going to have money faster. They're going to accumulate money faster. 
that's what I always consider. Goku was that charity nigga. That's why Goku got to um, be a Super Saiyan 3. Get the train in the afterworld. Get to experience all the different Kais. Got to meet the Grand Kai. Got to do things like that. Vegeta didn't get all these luxuries. Vegeta didn't get all these luxuries. So, I never really considered Goku to be stronger than Vegeta or more talented. The only difference is Goku got more help. Goku allowed himself to have more help. Vegeta trained on his own in the hyperbolic time chamber fight uh, against, I mean, training for Cell. Goku got to train with Gohan. You see what I mean? Still accepting help. Still getting help. So there's a difference between training by yourself and having help. But in terms of Saiyan, in terms of Saiyans, Vegeta outclassed Goku for a long time. In Z, in the beginning of Z, he couldn't even beat Raditz. Think how weak Raditz is. He can't even beat Raditz. So that's going to say that little kid, little kid Vegeta was strong enough to beat <laughs> Goku in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. You know, so I know he never, he didn't, he don't, he don't have anything to feel bad about. Because he, he did outclass Goku. And think also, and now we in Dragon Ball Super territory. Not even, not even Dragon Ball Super. Dread, um, the resurrection of F movie. When, Go when Vegeta swallowed his pride again and decided to get help from Weeks, look what happened. Look what happened. He bridged that gap so quickly, now him and Goku on par with each other. They both Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyans. Can you see how easily he bridged that gap when he decides to start taking donations too? <laughs> you know, when he started saying, okay, I'm not going to train by myself. I'm going to get help like you. Every time he does, he hops right there on a the par with um Goku. So, like I said, you got to really think about it. Is Goku actually stronger when he's getting all this external help and Vegeta always chose to do it on his own for the longest time? But personally, I don't think Vegeta is strong as Saiyan. Personally, I, be I believe half Saiyans are more powerful than normal Saiyans because Gohan came out of the hyperbolic time chamber stronger than Goku and Trunks came out of the hyperbolic time chamber stronger than Vegeta and Goku. Goten and Go I mean Goten and Trunks only had to witness Goku going Super Saiyan 3 once for them to learn how to do it as um Gotens. So pretty much I think Super Saiyan half super, I mean half Saiyans are more powerful than normal Saiyans. They have more potential. But like I said, folk but just focusing on Goku and Vegeta. I always believed Vegeta was stronger. Had Vegeta just took more help like Goku, got the train in the afterworld, got the train with Kai's, got to contribute in afterlife tournaments, meet Grand Kai's, and do all these other external things and get help from all these other people, Vegeta would have Vegeta would have been unstoppable pretty much. But now we seeing that now in Resurrection F. So my main point is I don't think Goku is more talented than Vegeta. <laughs> I don't think that at all. He just took help. That's all. But, you know, that's just my opinion. That's just me observing both of them from childhood all the way to resurrection. Now, that's just me. But, anyways, you can hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the matter. Who do you think are more powerful between all of the Saiyans, even the half Saiyans? Who do you think is stronger and who do you think have the most potential? So hit me down in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. Let's get a discussion going. Yeah, G4 did it here. Sign up. Thank you guys for watching.